All right, Shalom. I want to start out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles, and that is a great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. Coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And we've told you, we have been telling you that this devil was going to do this. We've been telling you, right? But see, Jake still don't want to take heed. All right? So this is from, you know, uh, ABC7, the New York News site, all right, which also was, uh, you know, pushed on the, the, uh, the New York News stations and everywhere else, you know, that they have showed it. It says, the, uh, you know, the CV update, NYC to require proof of getting a serpent juice for indoor dining, gyms, and entertainment. The New York City, the WABC, the Mayor Deal, Mayor Bill D. Blasio announced a new proof of the serpent juice requirement for most indoor events in New York City, believed to be the first such mandate by an American city. Dining, people love to eat. See, that's, these are things that Americans love to do, right? People love to eat, working out at the gym. A lot of people love to go go to the gym. Attending a movie or a play will require proof of the serpent juice starting August 16th. All right. And we know it's going to what? It's going to lead down further to what? You know, the rest of the entertainment things that people love to go do. All right. Shopping. All right. It's going to do shopping malls. You know, eventually it's going to trickle down to the jobs. You know, traveling. You see? All these different things, what people love to go do, right? This is what they're going to attack first. And you got to think, the, the world has been locked in their homes for what? Over, for about a year. Okay, so now people are running around back outside, traveling, right? Because soon things started to break open wide. The first thing people started to do was what? Travel, go party, go out to eat, you know? But now these things are looking kind of bad, you know, and they're starting to take that away from people. But the people that love to do these things, well, they were the first people to take the juice. OK, because they wanted to do these things, you know. So it says the enforcement will begin on September 13th to coincide with the with the return of children to schools. Well, think about the people who is sick and tired of their children all day. Right. The children, when children are at home all day, you know, they, they eat more food. Okay? You gotta cook more. You gotta, you know, you gotta deal with you gotta deal with them more. Okay? Instead of the school having them for what eight hours out of the day, which is saving you food and, and you know, saving you a headache in, in, in a lot of cases for certain people, right? So today I announced a new approach with which we are calling the key. To the NY pet, NYC pass, the Blasio said the key to NYC. When you hear those words, I want you to imagine the notion that because someone is or have taken the serpent juice, they can do all the amazing things available in New New York New York City. You see, and and, and this is the plan that they're using. They say, you know what? Since you don't want to take the serpent juice, we're just going to strip you away from, you know, uh, we're going to take all this this. Accessibility away from you Of the things you like to do Okay And this is just the beginning Of the squeeze The beginning of wanting you to bow down Alright But let's get this first Because we, we The men of the Lord The servants of prophets We have been saying this And we have been telling you That they was going to pull this Right So Let's go to the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, it says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Now, we know how he roll. You know, we know he, he goes, he does this thing called a uh, gradualism, right? He doesn't just throw stuff on you, you know, right away, but he'll, he'll, he'll set it up, okay? He'll slowly but surely, you know, move things in on you, you know? Also, he does another thing called a called a order out of chaos, right? He creates order of the chaos of out of the mess he have created 
to move in to to look like what like he is the savior so when the scriptures talk about uh i believe it's in the book of revelation chapter 13 Verse 11 it says, and, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dra dragon, all right? And this is how this devil rolled, okay? He has two opposing parties, you know? Now, when you think of it, you can think about, like, the Democrats and the Republicans, but he has two parties, you know, which have the same agenda, that have the same goal. But to you, it looks like it's just two opposite sides, all right, and he gives you this this illusion of, okay, this one side is on my side and the other side isn't. This is the illusion that you people actually think, but this devil is playing both sides of the coin. All right, so it says, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, cause he comes to you in this you know, in this 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 image of peace, you know. That's why the scripture says the, uh, his words are smoother than butter. Let's get that real fast. Let's go to the book of Psalms. I believe it's chapter 50. Nope. So it is 55. All right. So it says, I'll start at verse 20. It says, he have put forth his hands against such is be at peace with him he have broken his covenant the words of his mouth were smoother than butter but war was in his heart his words were softer than oil yet were they drawn swords okay and this is how he speak he speaks you know he speaks in peace but really he's imagining of how he can destroy you and this is how he has always gotten over and especially on jake this is how he always has gotten over you know and when we speak speak about it, when we when we out them, what our own people say, we don't know what we talking about. You know, we're a hate group, we're this, we're that. But you see, this devil is about to come down with great wrath, and you don't even know it. Even you people that is partaking in his madness and have taken his his, his serpent juice, he's still going. He's still going to out you, because that's the plan, and you don't even know it. All right, but the point is, you know. Uh, verse 21 again it says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter but war was in his heart and this see ultimately this devil is trying to he's trying to destroy you jake that's his plan he wants to destroy you and he's going to do it by any means necessary but he's he's doing it in a way where you're doing it to yourself because you're ignorant okay because you you, you, you uh you're rebellious rebellious you you haunt you stiff neck hard-hearted okay So he getting you behind your ignorance. Right? So I saw the scripture says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Okay? Also, let's get this. So I want to jump back. Right? Let me jump back real quick and get a... Uh... So I read this. Let's read it again. Book of Revelation chapter 13 verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and, and he spake as a dragon. So, yeah, he comes in this, you know, this fashion of uh, peace, you know. Really, he's, he's seeking how, you know, he, he's imagining how he can devour you, okay? Like I said, this is how this devil rolled, all right? Now, another thing I wanted to point out real fast, tell him with the next article... Right, so uh, let me finish this a little bit more. It says, this is a miraculous, miraculous place, literally full of wonders. If you are, or if you have taken the serpent juice, all that is going to open up, uh, all that is going to open up to you, and you have the key, you can open the door if you have the serpent juice. Unfortunately, you will not be able to participate in many things. That's the point we're trying to get across. So, hey, he's putting a squeeze on us. If you like, you like eating out, 
You like enjoying movies, going out to a date with your women, enjoying uh, different fun places with your children. If you like doing all these things, then you got to take the serving juice, right? But if you don't want to take the serving juice, well, you can keep your ass in the house. You know, see, this is another one of his moves to get people to take his bullshit, right? And last but not least, and I just want to point out something to you with this this uh, serpent juice by the demographic group, right? Check it out. So you got the age, right? On the left left side, you got the age, you know? But now check this out. This is the point I want to show you. Look at that. By race. Jake, who who is he trying to attack first? Judah, you so-called Negroes. He's trying to get you first, and guess what? You the head trap. You the head trap, and he's trying to get you. He's trying to get you first because he he knows you the head. Okay, now he does know you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He knows you're the Israelites, but he also know who's the lead. The head trap is what as well. Judah, you so-called Negroes, you so-called blacks. All right, but then you got the rest of the you know. You got the, you know, the Native Americans and uh, uh, Latino brothers and sisters on her as well, you know. <clears throat> but uh, it's the 2% higher than, you know, the Edomites as they got on here, you know. But you, you see who's the lowest, but they want to get Jake or, you know, Judah, you know. And then when you go to Foley, look at it. Look, look how low the numbers is. So Jake, they, I mean, you know, they, they out to get you, Jake. They out to get you. And you could just see by this graph. So, I mean, I just thought I wanted to touch another the spirit. You could see this squeeze coming. And he, he he's he's using, you know, the things in his, in his power, you know, at his best. Okay? Because the earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. All right? But he's just, he's just using, doing the activities and travels and things like that for now. But soon, sure enough, it's going to go to supermarkets. You know, jobs and jobs is already starting it, but he's going to he's going to fully, you know, exalt his horn and, you know, use his draconian law as, as whenever that time may come. You know, he's going to do it. So I just thought I'd touch up to the spirit. Lord willing, hope was out of fine. So next time I want to say, shalom.